Well hello and welcome to a tutorial video from the Computer Techie and today we are going to be looking at how to install um, a web server on a Linux machine so in this case we're actually using my Raspberry Pi but um, the same process is ex exactly the same for Ubuntu and um, the commands are slightly different but more or less the same for the other Linux distributions as well. Um, so if you've got Ubuntu server or a Raspberry Pi running the um, Raspbian OS then you can go ahead and do exactly what I have done. Um, so we're logged into the Raspberry Pi through PuTTY using an SSH session and one or two of the commands are already run but basically all you have to do is go um, sudo apt get update to get all the updates from the internet um, doesn't actually install them but that gets all the latest packages so we'll wait for it to do that and we'll wait a little bit longer a little bit longer cool done and then the next thing to do is actually just to install Apache so the command here is uh, the sudo apt get install Apache 2 um, I might already have this installed but it's basically you run the oh don't you run the command press Y to accept and then it will install it And the next thing we want is we want to install MySQL. So I actually have all of these commands in a different document and I'm just copying and pasting them into um, PuTTY. So that makes things a little bit easier if you're lazy like me. And also reduces mistakes because the commands are generally right that you've written down before and then you can just copy and paste them making your life slightly easier. And of course, if you've got lots of virtual machines, say Linux virtual machines, you can just copy and paste the commands instead of having to remember them or write them out manually each time. So, very useful having an SSH session. Um, you could do the copy and paste thing with PuTTY, which is free, or you can use something like um, there's another one that has tabs in it. I can't remember what it was called now, but it's a different SSH software. So the the end result of this after this video is we're going to get Cacti um, monitoring set up on this Raspberry Pi. So it acts as a server for monitoring different um, computers, applications, things like that. So there will be a different video on that. So if you are interested on how to set up monitoring, um, then go ahead and watch that video afterwards. It will, well it allows you to graph things like network usage and CPU usage on computers. So it's quite a useful tool. So there we go, we now have Apache installed. So the next one is to install MySQL. So this is the command here, the sudo apt get install MySQL server with lib apache2 mod auth MySQL and the php5 MySQL at the end. So we just run that. Uh, y for yes. So here we want to put in the root use a password that we're going to use for our MySQL server so make sure you put it as something that you're going to remember so 
if you wanted to use the MySQL server outside of your LAN then you'll have to go into the um, configuration file and just change what um, IP it's listening to So we're almost there. Still going. So this will be a little bit slow on a Raspberry Pi purely because the processor is smaller um, if you did this on a Linux machine on a fairly good computer then you just fly through things like these I can do a whole um, web server setup on Linux within about 10 minutes maybe a little bit less so we're about 6 minutes now We'll see how that goes. We'll also install um, PHP My Admin as well uh, with the MyCrypt extension. And there's a little thing you have to do there for the MyCrypt to work. Um, basically, all you have to do is edit the PHP.ini file. almost there oh wow I didn't think it took this long because it always used to normally when I do this it just flies through it I'll tell you what there's not much that goes on here so I'm just going to pause the video and then come back to you once it's done ok so it's finally completed and all that you have to do now to get the database working is put this command in so sudo mysql um, install db we'll do the table thing and then that is that and then the next thing we have to do is install php so this is the next command it is sudo apt get install php5 lib apache2 mod php5 php5 mycrypt i will leave all of these commands in the bottom of uh, the video description so you can just copy and paste them from there that will probably make it easier for anyone trying to follow this um, rather than just pausing the video and trying to see what i've pasted in Yeah. So now we can install PHP five. And that also installs the uh MyCrypt module for it as well, which is great. And the next thing we can do is we can well, after this is done, we can then go and restart the Apache 2 service. And that is basically sudo service Apache 2 restart, believe it or not. So it's an easy enough command to remember. hopefully almost there wow come on
Okay, so it's finally done its uh, thing with the PHP install. We can now go ahead and restart Apache 2. We got a good OK there. So now if we bring up our web browser with a glimmer of hope we might actually be served a web page. If this doesn't work, I'm going to look incredibly stupid. <gasps> it works! Cool. Okay then. So, the next thing we need to install is PHP MyAdmin. I mean, you don't have to install it, but good if you want to manage databases. So, all you have to do is type sudo apt get install php myadmin. And that is it. Um, there is a little thing we have to do with MyCrypt because it doesn't install the whole MyCrypt thing correctly. Um, when we installed MyCrypt for PHP and the SQL database, so just hit enter here. Don't move anything, otherwise sometimes you can accidentally select Light PD, which is actually the wrong database, and you have to go through the whole uninstall process which can take longer than just starting all over again sometimes um, so just make sure you press enter at that point when installing PHP my admin obviously I found that out the hard way so that wasn't that wasn't a good wasn't a good day that day This could probably take some time, so again, I'll probably pause it, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we've got to the next part. When this next screen comes up, we just uh, press yes. We install uh, password for the database administrative user. In this case, I think that is actually what we set the database password to um, when we installed the database. My school application password for PHP Maven. Normally I keep this all the same just so I don't get confused. Um, but I'm sure that one is actually the login for PHP My Admin, whereas the first one we entered was actually the database password for the root user, which we set up when we installed um, the MySQL database earlier on. As I said, I normally keep them the same just so I don't get confused later on. Ease of use, especially if you're using it in a lab. Um, just go for something like one, two, three, four, five, six. Something you will remember. Um, obviously production environment, you might want to keep them all different. But for the purpose of this tutorial, of course, making it simple and just going one password all the time. And now PHP admin is installed, which is brilliant. So we should hopefully just be able to go into our web browser, type slash uh, php my admin. Oh, of course, of course. There's one other step we have to do. So all we have to do is go into the Apache 2 conf file. In this case, it is sudo nano, uh, etc. Apache 2, Apache 2 conf. So we run that and it will open up the Apache 2 configuration file. So this is the place where you want to change IPs or whatever you if you're accessing it from at the outside world. Um, we go straight to the bottom and then we put this line of text in, which is include etc. PHP admin apache.conf. Um, control X to save, um, Y to accept and then press enter. And then hopefully now, if I do it right, yeah, we actually have to restart Apache after we do that. Obviously, don't know why I was trying it without doing that. And there we go. We have PHP my admin. So our username would be uh, root, and the password would be what we set up.
So we are now logged into PHP MyAdmin. And the MyCrypt thing seems to have worked. Interesting. If the MyCrypt, if you get a MyCrypt error under here, which I normally get when I install it on Ubuntu, um, all you have to do is go into, um, so you type CD and then ETC and then I think it's patchy, no, is it PHP 5? think I'll type the uh, command wrong space uh, and then we need to go into Apache 2 if you type the command right again And then we have the PHP INI file. So that's where your PHP INI file is if you need to change that. So the command is just basically sudo nano php.ini. And then all the way at the bottom. I wonder if the page down button works. Well, that's easier than pressing and holding the down button all the time. Okay, so as a Ubuntu user, this is apparently the error that you normally get just for Ubuntu. But basically, once you've installed the MyCrypt that we just did with that command earlier on, um, you need to go to the INI file and then you just paste in. Uh, this apparently but I will leave a link to the help file for when you get that error though there is already a link if you do come across the error when you click it it will come up but the archer is on php.net and so I will leave you with that but that is basically what you have to do or more or less without going into it and actually having the problem because I can't show you unless I install it on Ubuntu so now we've got it doing that um, well that's probably the end of the video now so now we've got a fully working web uh, web server with PHP my admin installed and so if you want to see how to install FTP server or how to get cacti installed or how to get um, Oh, what's it called? Uh, Webmin installed. So Webmin is like a, a web interface for managing your um, server, your Linux server. So that's quite useful. So any of those, just go ahead and find the videos on them in my channel. And if I remember, I will link them somewhere within the description or maybe in the video now. And uh, you can watch them, find out how to do it. So if you found this video useful, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you thought it was crap and uh, I shouldn't do it ever again, then go and give it a thumbs down and tell me why. And of course, go and hit that subscribe button for more tutorial videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video.